All right, guys, here it is. The infamous Amazon 35 kg servo. This thing goes under a lot of different names, DSS, Animos, a few others. It has a pretty good reputation for being a good servo. Today, I wanna to find out if that reputation is deserved. I wanna take it apart, see what's inside. I wanna dunk it in some water, see if it's actually waterproof. Then we're gonna throw it in a car, see how powerful it is, see how durable it is. And if it's any good, I'm gonna give you guys the opportunity to win one yourself. So stay tuned. This one's gonna be pretty fun. So in the box, we get the servo itself with a aluminum housing, a top and bottom that are made of plastic, a decently long cable. We get the standard aluminum servo horn that you get with most of these types of servos where it's clamps on both sides and has a few different options for length. And then we get the standard bag of servo horns that you can probably just go ahead and throw away because none of us are gonna be using. This servo boasts some pretty good specifications depending on what website you look at, the specs are different, but generally speaking, it's rated at 32 kg or around 400 ounce inches at six volts and then 35 kg or around 470 ounce inches at 7.4 volts, 0.13 to 0.11 transit time. Those are some pretty beefy specs for a $32 servo. We're gonna compare this servo to a much more expensive servo that has very similar specifications later in the video to see if it can actually hold up at such a lower price point. First test we're gonna do is take this servo and dunk it in this cup of water. It's rated IP67 which is water resistant to jets of water from any direction. So if it's water resistant to jets of water, it should be water resistant to dunking in this for a few seconds. Let's give it a try. All right, there's 10 seconds. We'll get it out of the water. I'm gonna dry it off and then we're gonna take it apart, see if any water got inside and see what it looks like inside. All right, this next bit's gonna be a little in depth and technical. So if you aren't interested in that, you can just use the chapters down here at the bottom and skip to the next one. That being said, let's go ahead and pull this apart and see if we got water inside, see if this thing looks like it's built quality and if it looks like it's gonna last. First thing I see, there are O-rings on the screws, which is really nice to see. I can also see little red O-rings here on the top and bottom. So it does look like that's sealed. Whether or not it's sealed up here at the output remains to be seen. A lot of servos that are waterproof end up leaking right here. Just so you know, this isn't the servo I'll be giving away. You guys will be getting a brand new in the box one. All right, screws are out. Now on the bottom, I expect to see a standard brushed motor. It says it's coreless, which just means that the part that spins is a little bit lighter than a normal brush motor would be, but it's still a brush motor. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so yeah, we have a standard brush motor here. The board is just sort of flapping in the breeze, but there is a bit of elastic here where the wires go out, so that should be pretty well sealed. I don't see any water intrusion down here. Got a little pinch on the gasket, but it still should seal okay. I'll fix that when I put it back together. But everything looks good down here. Let's put the bottom cover back on and we'll take a look at the top. Pulling the top off, we get our first look at the gears. These are all stainless gears from what I can see. One of them got stuck up in here. All stainless, got a little bit of lubrication on them. Lubrication feels pretty good. Don't really see anything too crazy in here. Everything looks to be pretty high quality. It's all nice and clean, not a bunch of grit from manufacturing in here. All right, so we got a brass bushing here, which is nice. Sometimes that's just plastic. The ball bearing itself looks to be pretty good quality. And there is an O-ring here in the top. I don't see any sign of water intrusion anywhere. You can see it's a little bit damp right around here, but it didn't actually get in the case. So I think it actually handled the water dunk test pretty well. Let's get this thing put back together. We're gonna get it in a car and we're gonna see how powerful it is. Side in this Team Corelli Kronos XTR, we have the 35 kg servo. On the right side in my heavily upgraded Outcast, we have a Pro Modeler DS505. These are both running Max 6 ESCs at 7.4 volts. And according to the spec sheets, these both have very similar speed and power. Let's see how these two compare. All right, I think you can see that the Pro Modeler 505 over here in the Outcast is a little bit faster and a little bit more powerful, but it also costs three times as much as the 35 kg servo from Amazon.
All right, well, some high jumps, bent a drive shaft, but servo's still good. Well, there we go, guys. The 35 kg DSS Animos Amazon Special Servo. I tried to break it, I couldn't break it. I broke the car multiple times, servo would not die. It's reasonably powerful, reasonably fast, decently quiet, seems fairly reliable. It's built not too bad. I think I'm gonna start using these in the future. And now, you can win this one. Here's how to do it. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and then put a comment in the comments. That's it. And in one week's time, I'm gonna pick a winner and one of you guys is gonna have this servo coming your way. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you next time.